experiment number 15 refractive index of water so in refractive index of water we are going to consider concave mirror and a pin then we are going to consider a meter scale so in the there are two experiments in a refractive index of water in the first case we are going to consider concave mirror and the object we can take it as a pin so when a ray of light is passing normally or it is at normal incidence we already studied about concave mirror when light falls on the concave mirror a part of light is turning back so here reflected light retraces the same path so now we are going to start first one so that we are going to take without water in the second case we have to consider with water so without water after reflection it retraces the same path so when we considered water so that because of water it appears to rising up and this is because of refraction the first case is because of reflection so let us start the first one so now this is a pin this is our object so here we kept concave mirror so we know that concave mirror it gives real and inverted image where reflection of light takes place let us take this is a concave mirror whose reflecting surface is inward so let us take a concave mirror so this is a pin or a needle which is taken as object so now so this object that emits the light or the light which is normally incident on the mirror after reflection it retraces the same path so you can see the image of the needle in this mirror so that we have to remove the parallax now let us adjust the pin so here we have to adjust in such a way that the tip of the pin and the tip of the image they should be exactly coincide without any parallax so now I am adjusting yes now we have adjusted here it is exactly coinciding with the tip of the image now you can see tip of the pin and tip of the image coincide without the parallax now we have to measure the length which gives a radius of curvature of concave mirror hmm. now we are measuring the radius of curvature of concave mirror up to the pin we got 27 centimeter the radius of curvature of concave mirror r equal to 27 centimeter now in the second case we have to pour some water on the concave mirror so that we will get r dash so now we pour some water on the concave mirror you can observe so that because of water refraction of light takes place it appears to rising up so now we have to again set the pin so that pin of the object and image pin both should coincide without any parallax I am adjusting pin so that tip of the pin and image pin coincide exactly now you can observe it is coincided exactly without any parallax now we observe the tip of image and the tip of the pin coincided exactly without any parallax now we can measure the distance which gives radius of curvature so now it is exactly 20 centimeter mm. now in the second case radius of curvature of concave mirror with water we got 20 centimeter so we know the formula to find refractive index of water with respect to air that is r divided by r dash that is with wa without water with respect to with water 27 divided by 20 so we got 1.35 we know that refractive index of water is 1.33 now experimental value theoretical value both are nearly equal so the refractive index of water nw equal to 1.35 so now experiment number 15b refractive index of water here we are going to use convex lens convex lens plane mirror water with illuminated object so now this is a plane mirror where the object incident normally on the plane mirror it retraces on this plane mirror I am going to keep a convex lens 
convex lens is thicker at the center which gives real and inverted image after refraction so now again the same procedure we have to continue tip of the pin should coincide exactly with the pin of the uh, tip of the image cut now i am just adjusting the object pin which is coinciding exactly with the tip of the image yes now it is coincided without any parallax now we can measure focal length of convex lens 23 cm so radius of curvature of convex lens it is already given we know that we calculated and we got 20 cm so now in the first case we considered convex lens with a plane mirror focal length we measured that we got 23 cm with water we have to measure now we pour some water on the plane mirror you can observe on that i am going to keep convex lens so that image will be rise appears to rise up because of refraction again the same procedure the tip of the pin and the image pin should coincide exactly without any parallax and after that we have to measure the focal length now the pin is adjusted they have coincided exactly so now the focal length becomes 33 cm focal length of lens combination f dash we got 33 cm using the formula focal length formed by water fw equal to f f dash divided by f difference of f dash so in the first case without water we got 23 with water 33 so difference we got 10 so the answer is 75.9 cm so to find refractive index of water we have the formula nw equal to 1 plus r divided by fw so r value it is given 20 fw we got 75.9 substitute so the final answer we got 1.26 which is nearly equal to refractive index of water that is 1.33